Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on uh, data structures and algorithms. In this particular video, we are going to talk about threaded binary tree, which is uh, uh, even sometimes called TBT in short. Before we go to threaded binary tree, let us first try to understand a binary tree, which we have already discussed in our previous video, but let us quickly go through it. So supposing this one is a binary tree, the condition for binary tree is very simple. The number of child cannot be more than two. Uh, every node can have maximum two child. So this is a binary tree. Now, if I represent this binary tree using, you know, our structural representation, for example, if I take this 1000 as 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, these are, let's say, addresses of various nodes, right? Then what we are going to do, we are going to put these addresses over here. For example, the left side of this particular node will be containing address 2000. So you can see this here, 2000. The right side of this particular node will be containing address 3000. So it is stored here. Then the left side of 2000 will be containing 4000 and right side will be containing 5000. So 4000 and 5000. Similarly, the left side of C is null, whereas the right side of C is 6000. So left side of C is null, right side of C is 6000. And for all this E, F and G, the pointers are null, null and null, right? Now you can see there are so many null pointers. There are so many null pointers. You can count that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or like if you have another tree, you can have more null pointers too. So the thing is, can we use these pointers where null is stored? So rather than null, can we store something else so that I can go back because in binary tree, you know, you can only go in this way from up to down, whether this is that or this is that, but there is no way you can go up from last node to first node. Why? Because we don't store the addresses in this way. So if I store, for example, if I store, let's say this address 1000 over here, that means now this will be pointing to this. So in this case, from this leaf node also, I can go back to root. Supposing if I store, let's say address of this 6000 over here, then in this case, I can go to this place. But what is the exit mechanism for storing the address? So yes, this is a good idea. Rather than null, if we store some address, we can always go back to that particular node. So that's a good idea. But how do I do that? I cannot assign those things randomly. So for that, the idea is threaded binary tree. So in threaded binary tree, what do you do, right? There are basically two steps. The step number one is keep the leftmost node and rightmost node of any tree as null initially, right? We are not going to do it. I'll show you in, a, in an example, right? But for all other nodes, for other all other nodes, what do we do? If it is the left pointer, it should be replaced by in order predecessor. So I'll show you in a little while what is in order traversal. We have already uh, created a video on a different traversal on uh, binary tree. So what is in order will be talking in a little while and in order successor. Supposing I have a tree like this. I'm having 10 over here. I'm having five over here. I'm having let's say 20 over here. So this is my vertex. This is my left node. This is my right node. So if I do in order traversal, in order traversal. So in case of in order traversal, what do we do first? So it is vertex comes between left and right. So it is L V R. So L is five, then 10, then 20. This is how I do. Now, if I talk of this 10, so for 10, who is predecessor? So 5 is the predecessor for 10 and who is successor? So 20 is the successor of 10. So now in order predecessor and in order successor. For 10 in order predecessor is 5. For 10 in order successor is 20. So we will see in with a uh, bigger example. So first thing is keep the leftmost and rightmost null pointer as null only. So you can see the leftmost one is null, the rightmost one is null. If I make in order traversal over here, so 
let us write in order traversal over here you know that in order is vertex is in between left is first r is later so l v r so if we do this this one is l this one is vertex and this one is right so this one is l vertex and right now in l also i am having l v r so l is e b f so i am writing e b f once this whole L is done, whole L is done, I'll be moving to vertex. So vertex is A. Vertex is A. And then I'll come to right. So L, V, R. So there is no L. C and G. C and G. So it is E, B, F, A, C, G. So if I remember this E, B, F and A, C, G. So let me write E, B, F and a c g so this is my in order traversal in order traversal so now you can see which is the leftmost node e so the left part of e left part of e is null which is the rightmost node g so right part of this g is null and all other nodes i, I am not setting it to null see you can see this one this one this one this one and this one so I'm keeping them as it is because I'm going to put put some address into it. All right. So now second part is now let us talk of what to be done. So second condition is if it is left pointer, I will be using in order predecessor. So now if I quickly go back, I need to copy this stuff E B F A C G because it's an in order traversal E B F A C G. So let me put it over here E b f a c g this is the in order traversal so now let's talk of this now e let us talk of this particular pointer okay it is the right pointer of e so right pointer of e in that case i'll be following in order successor so what is the in order successor of e so you can see it's b so i will be drawing a pointer from this to this that means I will be assigning this address, this address 2000 over here. So actually, uh, if I erase this one, now this particular thing has been done. So now this 2000 has been assigned over here. That means now this is pointing to this. Now let us talk of this something which is on the left hand side of F. So if it is left hand side, you will be following in order predecessor. So what is the predecessor of f look at this in order traversal it is b so again b is having the address 2000 so now this is also pointing to this now let us talk of uh, you know right and right pointer of f so for right pointer we will be following in order successor so what is who is the successor of f a so what is the address of a 1000 so I'll be storing 1000 over here. That means now this is pointing to this particular location. Now let us talk of the left particular pointer of C. So if it is left, we will be following in order predecessor. So who is the predecessor of C? A. So I will be putting the address of A here. That means now this C is pointing to A. And last is this G and it is the left pointer of g and if it is the left pointer of g we will be following in order predecessor who is the in order predecessor of g c so the address of c is assigned here that means now this is pointing to c so this is how we will be assigning all those different pointers in a specific manner in a specific step but till the left and rightmost pointers are null only so what to be done with them so for them so this is all that we have discussed so now how do i know that pointers point to parent node or some other node because now the thing is you know over here supposing i am having you know a node like this a node like this and supposing this one is pointing to this and this one is pointing to this so in this case you can see that if i write a b c d something like this a b c d e f g something like this 
then the e is pointing to b which is its parent b is a parent of e but f is pointing to a for example which is not its direct parent it's a grandparent so how do i know so for that you can create a structure like this of course the three members which we have already discussed is data the left pointer and the right pointer but apart from that we will be having two flags left flag and right flag and left flag and right flag will tell us whether it is pointing to its parent or to other node so for that let us see this one over here this is 2000 so 2000 is nothing but you know this particular address all right that means it is pointing to its parent okay so if it is the case we will be setting that flag to zero so you can see that i have set it to zero the pointer points to parent or ancestor node then it is set to zero now let us talk of this one that i have put you know 2000 in the right part sorry left part of this f and again this is nothing but my parent so i have put it zero all right likewise suppose this particular address if we talk about so it is not pointing to uh, you know a parent or grandparent it is pointing to a child so if this is case i will be setting it one so all upward pointers all upward pointers i will be set zero and for all downward pointers i will be set one so if this is going down i'll be setting one if this is going down i'll be setting one if this is going down i'll be setting one but if this is going up i'll be setting zero so this is how you can differentiate you can differentiate between two different pointers whether it is pointing to the parent node or ancestor node or it, whether it is pointing to the child node all right and one more thing which we need to add here is earlier we set this to null but now we will not be setting it to null because we do not want a single null in our uh, threaded binary tree so for that we will create an extra dummy node and that dummy node because it's a dummy node we are not going to put any data there is no data inside it all right and the left pointer of that dummy node points to the root and the right pointer of that dummy node points to itself for example the address of dummy node is 7000 the right pointer points to itself and if you remember the leftmost and rightmost pointer that we made null now we will not be making them null both of them we will be you know pointing it to this particular dummy node now they are pointing to this dummy node and this is how the whole threaded binary tree is constructed so we can have just an example over here an exercise over here for creating a threaded binary tree so very first thing is i need to you know do that in order uh, traversal so in order traversal is i know vertex is in between left is first right is left letter so it is lvr so it is l then this is v and this is r in L, this one is l this one is v this one is r so in this one also now i am having uh, you know uh, subtree like this is l this is r, r and this is v so l v r so this h d i h d i and then this whole left is over then i'll be moving to vertex v which is b then if vertex is over then i'll be moving to right and this is e so now this is whole left part is over i'll be moving to the vertex of it which is a and then i'll be moving to the right part again l v r and in l part also i am having l v r but there is no l so v is f r is j and now this left part is over so I'll be moving to vertex, vertex is C, and then I'll be moving to R. So that is G. So this is my complete, uh, you know, uh, in order traversal of a particular tree, the tree that we have given. Now once this, uh, you know, this tree is done, now we can always find out the 
uh, threads from where so let us start doing it so from left hand side for h for h the left hand side is d so i'll be having a thread from this to this from i from the sorry this is the right side of h for left side of i left side of i is d so left side of i is again d now what about the right side of i right side of i is b so i'll be doing right side of i is b now let's talk of this e what is on the left side left side of e that is b what is on the right side of e that is e so right side is a now c left and right are already there for f the right is there but left is not there so who is on the left side of f that is a right now for j what is left and what is right so for j left is f left is f for j the right is c so the right is c and now for g we know that the rightmost i'm not going to touch this one the leftmost and i'm not going to touch the raised one what about the left of g left of g is c so i'll be setting this so now this is the complete threaded binary tree now only thing which is missing over here is you know the dummy node so let us put a dummy node over here all right and the left node of this dummy node is pointing to this root if i call this as a root okay and the right node is pointing to itself and now this you can remove this uh, particular left side of h and right side of g and rather than making them null we will be you know making them point to this dummy node so now they both are pointing to this dummy node so this is the complete threaded binary tree so likewise you can uh, create threaded binary tree for any example given so next is uh, we in our series we will be talking about binary search tree so thank you very much guys for uh, being here